Two points, three points. This is literally the coolest thing I've ever made. Today, using only this two foot by two foot panel, we're gonna be making this wooden ski ball table. And guys, quite frankly, this is the hardest thing I've ever designed from the ball sorting to the angle to all the things that go into it. So today, I'm gonna show you how I made this and how you can make this too. Now, before we get into the build, I wanna give a huge shout out to Aqua Vitae Woodworks, a fellow YouTuber who made something very similar to this and inspired this whole entire build. Now, like all good CNC projects, we gotta program it. If you wanna skip all that nerdy programming stuff, go to this timestamp right there. All right, guys, this is the final program we're cutting out today, but I would not do it justice unless I showed you how much programming actually went into this. And so even down to how the ball catcher worked, how the ball returns work over here, all the different angles and adjustments I had to go through, just know that this thing took multiple versions and multiple different iterations. It was a huge pain in the butt. I ended up cutting three of them out of a different material before I finally was able to make all the changes I need to get to a version four. And so what I wanted to show you is kind of quickly how I programmed programmed all of this into here. Most of this is just gonna use one bit, so it's gonna use a quarter inch down cut. And so first we come over here and program out the backboard slash ball catcher. I don't really know what to call it. And then we're gonna come back with a profile and leave that eggshell like I always like to use. And then we're gonna come back and do this little pocket right here for whenever the ball comes out of the ball return. Um, then we got another pocket for this ball sorter. This is gonna snap on top of that. You're gonna pocket out the sides. You're gonna come back with a V bit and it's gonna come over here and bevel out these holes. That way the ball can actually fall in there. So you notice that slight bevel right there. And then you're gonna come back over here and do a V bit for the numbers for the score. And then I come back with an eighth inch bit right here. And that's just gonna poke some holes that I eventually have to hand drill out. And that's for our alignment. So we're gonna use bamboo skewers for alignment. And you'll see that later in the video. And then we come back and just cut everything out. And you end up with a program that looks like this. Now notice there is tabs right here. Tabs are very important. I did not use tabs later in the video. And you will see why I added tabs to this part so you don't make the same mistake I did. This is what it ends up looking like. And if you do get this program, you're gonna have all of these instructions on what vector to select, what kind of, uh, what the name of it is, what the path is, how deep. If you get the program, you're gonna get all the vectors and all of this info exactly how to program it. It's, it looks a little complicated, but I promise you, it's really pretty simple. You're gonna be amazed at how easy this thing is to put together. Let's go cut it out and see and see. So all you need to make this project is any three quarter inch thick material and just a 12 millimeter ball bearing that I got from Amazon. Link is in the description. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't have a vacuum table to hold all this down, I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on the back and then I already marked out my areas, my safe zones of where I can actually put clamps. And so I'll have to do a little fun configuration right here to get this thing clamped down. But I got this material, I had it custom engineered and made specifically for CIC Workshop. And what it does and what's so cool about it is that it's gonna be able to eliminate those chip outs. It's gonna be so easy for you to make cool projects because that's what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to make cool projects, be able to sell stuff and not have to have a ton of machinery. You should just just be able to get a CNC, put a cool sheet like this on there and just cut out cool projects, whether you wanna sell them, give them to friends, et cetera. So, so now that we have the panel secured and held down, this entire project's gonna be four different bit changes, starting with this quarter inch down cut bit, which you can get on cseworkshop.com. And it's gonna do a lot of the profiling and the pocketing. And the very first thing it's gonna cut out is that backboard where the ball's gonna fall into. So I, I still can't put into words how nervous and how excited I am to get this project underway. And I, I really hope it works. I am super stoked. Let's go. I think they just ruined it. Let me, uh, double check. Let me double check. So fun fact, I was nervous for a reason. And uh, that's why you always have your control in your hand to stop it when something doesn't go right. I fixed it. Now let's take two and click go again. I'm a little less nervous on this one because yeah.
So our next tool path is going to be this 60 degree V bit, which is going to do little edges around the rim and come over here and do the score. But we did have one oopsies in here where I was really too aggressive with that quarter inch bit on how much I was taking off. I should have did it in two passes instead of did it in one and I got a little bit of a tear out. Normally it would not tear out like that. So I'll just do a little glue and fix it up and keep on going. So the 60 degree V bit did as expected. It was a little light over here, so we had to rerun it. Next is this eighth inch down cut. I would typically prefer an up cut because we are drilling holes and you want those chips to get evacuated, but a down cut's gonna work just fine and it's gonna poke all these holes, which are more or less just alignment holes for dowel rods. So let's run this next. So you may have noticed some smoke coming out and like I said before I ran this, a down cut is not the proper bit and this is a perfect example why and I hope you're gonna learn from this. What that down cut does, right, it's gonna put the chips downwards. Whenever that happens, there's nowhere for them to go so they're just gonna burn up. Now the bit didn't actually get that hot but there was so much friction with all that wood rubbing together and there's nowhere for it to go so it has to burn up and almost spontaneously combust and then that's when you saw the smoke come out. So this is the last pass, quarter inch down cut is back in there. It's gonna cut everything out. I am once again very nervous because parts could go flying. I hope they don't. I hope that double-sided tape works and uh, I am stoked to start putting this together. I so first initial reaction use some tabs they are very important that's why it's called trial and error you can't have trial and error without air <laughs> all in all I'm actually pretty stoked it was a little terrifying there but if any of y'all have a CNC you know exactly what I'm talking about and that's why if you don't have a CNC I will be selling this whole entire setup fully made bearings and all so you can have it so you don't have to have a CNC to actually own one of these things so if you want to check that out check it out on cseworkshop.com So now that all the pieces are cut out, we really only have to do two glue ups. The first glue up is gonna be the ramp that consists of seven pieces. All I do is finish drilling out the holes, stick a bamboo skewer in all three holes, and then just mush them together and clamp those together and that's gonna finish out the ramp. The next thing is gonna be the backboard that keeps score. That consists of two pieces, which is the actual holes themselves and the ball sorter that's gonna go underneath. And so if you notice, this is like the back side of it. And when this thing fits on top, it's gonna to channel all these balls in different directions. So like a 10 is just gonna go straight down, a five is gonna go this way. It's really cool that this whole thing works like it does and you'll never be able to see it. So cool, it's so cool! I am gonna make this with mistakes. I could easily go back and film this again without mistakes, but I wanna show you all that like woodworking is a journey. You are gonna make mistakes. I mean, I've been doing this for 12 years now and I'm still making mistakes like this. I'm just trying to be open and raw with y'all because I, I think that's, that's more real and it's more realistic and it sets the expectations where like, this is a journey, this is a learning thing and I am still learning as I go as well. So we got all our pieces cut, sanded. Now it's time to slap a little bit of finish on it because when this thing is fully put together, it's gonna be really hard to get in all those crevices and stuff like that. I'm just using Osmocote, but you can use lacquer, mineral oil, whatever you're doing if you're building this yourself. So we have all our parts oiled. They are ready to get put together and I am super stoked to just start assembling this thing. So boom, ball return goes in, ramp, goes right above that. Now, granted, you know, if I'm doing this for real, for real, I'll put a little bit of glue and a little clamp and you know, that way it doesn't come apart. Now guys, I haven't forgot about this week's giveaway. If you are a winner of the giveaway, the link is in the description. You will get to either pick a panel and the digital file so you can make one of these yourself or the physical product itself fully put together with all the balls and all that good stuff. And the next piece, is just gonna come right on top of it. And as Ace Ventura says, like a glove. Like a glove. And the back plate. Oh. 
this thing is freaking awesome. So whether you wanna make it or buy it, check out cseworkshop.com. And remember guys, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right.